the Scott Tronson stories are just the, you know, <laughs> let, let me just share a couple, you know, <laughs> this is how Scott was. Um, he's, he's in charge of access that day. It's a Saturday. He probably wants to get out of there and go home. We have the, the, uh, I think it was the noon to three block. So at three o'clock studio closes and we go home. Well, we're trying to wrap up the show and we're a little bit after it's like five after three, all of a sudden I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the directing room directing and I see lights going off. I'm like, Mike was on camera. I'm like, Mike, what the hell's going on? He goes, Tronson just came in. He started shutting the lights off. I said, are you kidding me? So look, our time was up and he wanted us out. And so he shut the lights off right in the end of our production, we're trying to close the show. I mean, it's the kind of things he would do. And, and, and the worst was when he told us, when he kicked us out of the studio, I said, Scott, what are we going to do? We can't work with a styrofoam <coughs> stage. We need that wooden stage. He's like, well, maybe you could get some bricks and just prop the posts up in the bricks. and you won't be able to use them. I said, get out of here. That ain't going to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott and I went, uh, but you know something, we, we would get we would get him back every time when Scott suspended us for uh, advertising. When we were doing those armory shows, Scott said, "You guys are advertising. That's against the rules. You cannot advertise in public access. You're suspended." And I thought, wait a minute, these church groups come on and advertise too all the time for what they're doing. We're doing the same thing. So I went to Terry O'Connell, who was a cable commissioner. I knew he liked us because he did an interview saying how he approved the cable grant for us. So I figured maybe maybe he'll have a poll with us. So I went to him. I said, Scott suspended us. He said, we're advertising. We're not advertising. We're just promoting ourselves. And he's like, let me look into this. So <laughs> Terry's Scott's boss. You know? He's a cable commissioner. He overruled it. And he said, nope, you can come back in. Just don't mention ticket prices, though. You can still talk about it, but tell about it, but do not mention the actual prices. So, Okay. And I come back in. I said, "So Scott, we can check equipment out again, right?" And he's, he, he's sitting at his desk, he's like, "Yeah, you can come back, but uh, don't think too many people are going to be happy with you here. We still feel we made the right decision, but Terry's our boss. He was he was pissed." <laughs> <laughs> well, but right, you better watch out, same pissed. Yeah. Wait, you, know what? you guys could have quit right then and there, but you didn't. That's right. the cool thing. You just kept going. Yeah, we just yeah, had to push it. Anyway. It's only because we loved it so much. Oh. We, we loved the wrestling so much that we just didn't want it to end. And the TV, the cable show was so much a part of it. It was like a hand-in-hand -hand thing. The t this TV show was the wrestling show. We, we always referred to it as the wrestling show. That's what we called it. To all the kids and stuff. It was the, are you going to make the wrestling show? Yeah, I can make it. It was the wrestling show because it was a show that we were producing, but it was, you know, it was it was the... And, and, and the kids, can you even imagine, Rich, if you're a fan of wrestling as a kid, who wouldn't want to be on that show, you know? Absolutely. At that time. The only thing mm -hmm. is we started attracting too many people like adults that <laughs> shouldn't have been on the damn thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>